Hello and welcome to Seven Days to Die. And before we can get started, we need to make a luxurious character. Like, what type of character would we like? I think this is the whole Oblivion system. Max out every single bar in human history and hope for the best. Maybe a bit overweight to survive the zombie apocalypse, but it'll be fine. We'll get a frying pan, we'll swing it round wildly and hope for the very best when it comes to survival. <laughs> now look at that body. He'll have no friends, but that shouldn't matter. He looks like a strange... Kind of stalkerish fellow, but it would be entirely fine. Have the blue eyes. Ah, oh, you got the shaggy hair. Racist, the resident homeless man. He's a bit confused. He's, he's kind of dazed by the drug addictions, but it's fine. He's just got the massive shaggy beard to show that he means business, and he's not leaving without it. Because you have to take your business with you wherever you go when you're a man like this, so cold at heart. Profile name, what shall we call him? We'll call him just Lotion. It'll be the adventures of lotion. And save. Can you use that? Just we'll have a new game, just... The adventures of lotion, what, what should we call it? Just... L'Real. And we just, we can't just accept the reality here. It's too wonderful and magical that a wonderful man called Lotion looks like a shaggy bearded homeless man can survive this worldly apocalypse. Oh, and we started in a lake made out of tar. How wonderful. So we can just beat all the grass to death and make ourselves a nice little hatchet. Even though it looks like the remains of kind of Armageddon, it'll be entirely fine. We'll rebuild, we'll, we'll repopulate, we'll somehow make science happen. If we make science happen, we can have anything in the world, can't we? And if we've got all the supplies to make a, just a few basic tools, it should be perfectly fine when it comes to survival. The only issue is I can't hear any zombies because I just... I can have the headset from hell, it's either I hit myself or I... I don't even know anymore, I'm nearly dead. You might leave me alone, don't daze me. I know you only want to get close and just hold me in your arms, but I don't like your kind. Walking around, topless. You got no sandals on. You fall to the ground and sleep mid-conversation, have a little spasm. You're not the kind of person I need in my life. Not one I can have. A gun. Not even a gun yet, I can have a sharp stick with a stone axe. Now that's made, I can just equip it and just kind of merry adventure over the mountain tops. Like, hmm, how are you? Can I speak to you about the Lord today? Oh, wait, you fell asleep again, didn't you? Or oh, fell to the ground, you gave me a bit of mouldy bread, I appreciate that. Leave me alone. You don't get to, you don't get to wear a Hawaiian shirt in the apocalypse. That's the world's largest hipster. Fish fire, can he have bread in him? No, he has fat because it's not as if that's part of his own body weight. No, it's just I don't even know anymore. It's that's a nice, a nice little messy saying that he cares about us. Like in the next one, we'll have just eating utensils. We'll have a fork and a spoon. The one after that, maybe a frying pan. This one has nails and a glass jar. It like it's so much like he wants to make a grenade. Oh, he just wants us to get our daily dose of iron from the environment around us. Either way, I'm happy. It means I can try to survive a little bit longer with the story of Lotion and see how long he can kind of get through this apocalypse for. And again, he's not really a, well, a dog person, so when they come along, I'm sure I can run like hell and hopefully not get mauled to death. Is there anything decent in this rock? Oh, this is just how mining works in real life. You just you make a small rock, use it to hit a bigger rock, find metal in the rock and use that metal to make an even bigger rock hitting hammer. That's what I'll do it for the next one too, just, you have to get uh, hardcore, just spin around the rock. Hit from all angles, make sure you no know, one's scared. If you get in all angles, perfectly balanced and it crumbles and levitates into the sky. And oh, is there anything over there? There's partially destroyed buildings, oh, but is there water in the cactuses? Oh, I'm hitting a cactus and wood's coming out. I think my entire tool's slowly breaking in my hand, slowly dying. But this fruit, ooh, oh! Can I do anything with this fruit? Is there anything inside it? Can I do anything here? Come on, anything at all. Come on, fruit, just let me let me be part of you. Let me get your nectar, your happiness, and just all the good things in life. Oh, but no, apparently not. I can't have it. Apparently, just gonna go for a nice swim. Probably be irradiated if it's just kind of like the lands of fallout. And maybe just pick up some cinder blocks. Like, they're entirely weightless and they're everywhere. Let's just pick them all up. We might as well. I just kind of rebuild half this home. Just we'll have a nice place to live for the future. 
and raise some kids. Oh, there's a cooler. And we've even got beer. We've got, we've got a fully made stew. Uh, I'm, I'm quite happy about this. But oh, the zombies can smell you now. Uh, be warned. I don't need to be warned. We can have a zombie party. Everybody's invited. Even this kind of inanimate corpse. It's fine. Everybody's an inanimate corpse at heart. It's just a kind of a way of life. We even found corn. It's like this corn the cob. It's a fantastic little present. We definitely know the zombies are in the New Year spirit. Like here, ha we, know, we know we're trying to hurt you, but it's fine. Oh God, it's a dog. It's not fine. Leave me alone. You're not Rudolph. You don't get to do that. You're not glowing yet. You may be glowing with kind of radiation, just general intolerance, but it's fine. Oh God, I'm nearly dead. But okay, just we know first aid. We'll just use bandages. I'm healing it fine. And we're not going to go to sleep yet. We're not going to lie down and just take it. <clears throat> I just, just yeah, fine. This is fine. He's gone to sleep. He's got a backpack on the floor. It's, he'll be happy. He's not losing anything. It's just it means he can kind of contemplate in his existence and kind of uh, try again. But if I run that direction, maybe I can find my backpack and pick up my stools and my corn and just all the other good things in life. But something tells me they don't really want me to get involved with them. Like, we could help you. Or we could knock you to the floor and make you feel as if you're not appreciated. You're just kind of being used for malicious intent. If we just leap over this car, we can skip and we can jump and we can be happy and we can just frolic in the meadows. Oh, it's been untouched. We have water and blocks. We have water and blocks as in a giant fly in the sky. I don't like giant flies in the sky that they're painful, they're horrifying. They carry diseases, diseases and pleasers. Nobody likes them. If you move them forwards. Oh, more coolers. It's like it's Christmas, New Year, I'm happy. I have empty can, there's no food anywhere. It's like the charity drive gone horribly wrong. But it'll be fine, we'll just we run past this happy little people. Don't stand on the irradiated surface because it looks green and green is usually bad when it comes to a zombie apocalypse. I know that's probably slightly racist, but this is a common rule. Probably why they're so aggressive, they just, they just don't want to be repressed anymore. Now don't go near the green people, kids. They will probably try and hurt you. But why? Just because they're green? You're saying they can't be appreciated? Are you saying that just because they're green people, we can't be close to them? Yeah, fair, fair enough. It's entirely fine to comprehend. I'll just punch a few bushes. I'll get some more sticks and hope for the best. You just go for the trash. I'm rooting from your garbage. You make a nice little home out of these cinder blocks. Maybe just a gravel castle. But it takes so long to break down, it may kind of be a, m a much more hefty task than I originally expected. And the quest of the moment is find your belongings. And probably, you know, find some pants. It would be fine, we don't need pants, we'll run fast without them. Although we might get a little bit chilly. Although I'm sure some body armor would be kind of be helpful when we're swung at by the inanimate and dead. And maybe some bug spray for the giant beetles in the sky. Is there anything down here? Come on, wastelands, I just want to find my stuff and feel as if it's appreciated. But you'll say no. You never let me feel appreciated. You never let me punch a bush in peace without flying over the other side and kind of smiting me down with your godly powers. Slightly ironic, the godly powers in this apocalyptic land of the unknown. Is there anything in the sink? Of course, there's coffee beans in this half of a house and the sink in this small little meadow with the broken down apocalyptic remains of a city. It all makes perfect sense. It's perfectly fine. Anything in the lockers? Oh, we've got a skull cap. We have our first body armor. We can just be a hooligan. We're like a kind of a stripper now, but it's fine. Strippers are respected by society. 